Initially, uh, when I asked Dr. Wong if it was possible for strabismus surgery, um, that was to be determined. And I prayed about that, that God's will would make it happen. And um, my second visit with her, she said that she would go ahead with it. And that meant a lot to me because, excuse me, <clears throat> for 44 years, um, all the doctors that I spoke with said that that type of surgery was cosmetic. And um, because your left eye has no vision because of retinopathy of prematurity, <clears throat> there would be no point. Um, but because it became apparent that it got worse and I started to see double vision um, in the right eye that I could only see in, that meant so much to me. I felt all my insecurities go away because I knew that um, this would change my life, psychosocially of course, but just with the confidence that I knew I had in me. Um, no words can <laughs> express my gratitude um, because of what she's done. She changed my life. Um, I'm so grateful. And I'll do everything in my power to um, share my story with other people that strabismus surgery is not cosmetic surgery. It's an impairment that needs to be corrected. And um, the medical community needs to be educated for that. Countless, I mean, just numerous times throughout my um, lifetime, all the doctors that I've seen had said no. I, I, there's too many numbers to count. I, I don't even remember. But I'm so grateful that God led me to talk to her mom. <laughs> I love the results. I love the results. I never thought that I would able to be, look normal, normal. You know, um, people would always treat me differently because I had a lazy eye. And um, I could still do the same things, um, but yet I was treated differently because of that. And now I feel as if I can do anything limitless. So, thank you so much. <laughs> Don't give up. Um, don't give up. If someone says that you can't do it, you can't do the surgery, uh, you know, it is possible. There are doctors out there that are willing to do that. Don't give up. Keep looking.